Hi YouTube, this is off my usual topic, it's about economics and it's powered partly because of the appalling situation of British politics right now where those of us who were staunch Labour supporters uh, made the switch to Liberal Democrats because they looked like they were quite interesting and then as soon as the elections were over they showed their true colours by getting us a bed with the Tory party so we're all a bit pissed off about that, those of us who consider ourselves a bit on the left. Um, uh, and I'm also a bit pissed off about England's performance in the World Cup last night, being bitten 4-1 by Germany. So I've been thinking about economics, and I've just watched one of uh, Gary's class war videos, which is always <laughs> invigorating stuff. But I don't know much about economics, I'll be frank with you. Uh, so, I, but what the hell, you know. I'll tell you what I'd like to do, though. I'd like to start a political party. Tell me if you think this is a really shitty idea. This is the kind of idea I think... Uh, a 14 year old would come up with, but what the hell, you know, maybe 14 year olds have good ideas. I'd like to start a political party that would be called the 1500 party. Uh, yeah, 1500 party. And, and basically it's a party which is entirely built around uh, an economics. The number comes from the average wage in Britain. The average wage in Britain is about £490 a week right now. The median wage, I should say, not the average. Just short of £500 a week. Um, it seems like quite a lot to me actually, but that, that's uh, that's supposed to be the average. And uh, yeah, but obviously some people are earning much less than that, and some people are hardly earning anything at all. And then there's a ruck of people who are earning vast amounts more than that. And uh, in fact, the difference between rich and poor in Britain is wider than it's been for years and years and years, even after however many years, 13 years of, of Labour Party rule which you would think would level that thing out a bit, but didn't. It's much worse than it's been for donkey's years. And the percentage of people who owned, you know, the small percentage of people who own the, the large percentage of property in this country has again gone up. Um, you know, so more and more wealth is in the hands of fewer and fewer people, which is, again is a pretty appalling uh, indictment of, uh, of, a, of any kind of meritocracy or any kind of egalitarian society, in my opinion. So, anyway, back to the plot, the 1500 party. If the average wage is about £500 a week, sir, I would have a party which is a, it's basically a single issue party and it's all about soaking people who earn more than £1,500 a week. So if you earn £1,500 a week or less and you vote for my party, the 1500 party, you would benefit from the policies which my party, my, uh, yeah, my political organisation, would be in support of because we would be all about lower taxation for people earning less than 1500 free transport uh, free school milk uh, maybe free electricity up to a certain point free power loads and loads of free stuff you just get loads of free stuff if you free education of course free health care uh, yeah the works if you're earning less than 1500 you get loads and loads of benefits it'd be brilliant of course, if you earn more than that, it starts to ramp up, and if you get, earn considerably more than that, then you're fucked. <laughs> Quite right, too. Um, yeah, there'll still be enough leeway in there. You know, if the average is, 50, if is 500, then people who were earning at the top of the what I would consider to be an acceptable band of, of difference, the people who were earning at the top of that would still be earning three times as much as the people who were earning the average. Which still which seems pretty reasonable. You know, you work hard, you can earn three times as much as the guy who doesn't work very hard. That seems fair enough. Um, but there wouldn't be an opportunity to earn huge, huge amounts by doing nothing at all. So, yeah, vote for me, the 1500 party, for whenever the next bloody election is. Never, probably. Another 12 years of Tory rule, fantastic.